If you're looking to buy coins, go and check out ufifa.com down below in the description. Currently, ufifa are the cheapest coin site around, guys. Let's go and use the discount code BJHD to get yourself 5% off. Other than that, enjoy the video. What is up, guys? BJHD here, and today we've got once again another full informed team. You guys love the last one, so we've gone out and built a full informed Barclays Premier League team, just as it is possible to make this week. So it would be great to try and smash another 400 likes on this video, guys. That'd be absolutely amazing. If we can tomorrow, there will be a Brazilian FIFA Monopoly for you guys. So smash the like button. And we're ready to go into this video. So the first player is, of course, going to be the goalkeeper. It is De Gea, who managed to grab me actually two goals in his seven games he played. Obviously, the game stats aren't all correct because I played extra games, both for penalties. And he's actually a pretty solid goalkeeper. Only issue is one-on-ones where he just completely jumps out the wrong way. Decided to add in his penalty, which is actually a pretty decent penalty. Top corner, which is decent. Now, the right back is Ivanovic, who also managed to grab one goal in his seven games. And he got 68 pace. He's got 61 shots as well. 89 defending, 85 physical. Those are really good defensive stats. And I have no complaints about Ivanovic. He was actually incredibly good. Strangely, he was quite attackingly forward there to manage to grab his goal. But even so, I was not complaining about his positioning at all. Then Leighton Baines in the left back position for me as well. 78 pace and in, 75 shot, 86 passing 83 defending and 76 physical i was actually surprised how low his kind of defensive and physical stats were considering you know left back and he's not really known for being like a bad defender i guess but surprisingly so another penalty there to go in then of course jagielka is the first of the two center backs not much to say about him he's a little bit slow and he's not the greatest defensively wise but he's still not too bad and then Andy Reid, just kidding, all guns. Winston Reid, we do have there 13,000 coins for him. He was, again, a bit like Jagger Elka, a little bit slow-ish, but still nothing to complain about. Wilshire is the centre defensive mid for 44,000 coins. Grab me one goal in his seven games, and he's got 77 pace, 70 shot, 86 dribbling. I was actually fairly good. He kind of rock solid in the slight centre defensive part of the game. But then, you know, he's actually he made a decent few runs. Shame he couldn't finish every one of them off. But he still made some good runs and good passes. Tadic is the left mid. I'm not sure if it's this formation, but he couldn't get into the game at all. He's new from this week's Team of the Week, and I just could not get him involved. Same with the opposite wing, which was James Milner, who is oh, frustratingly slow. That 69 pace is a killer. But as well, just his general dribbling, passing, everything felt a bit off. He didn't feel like an inform or anything like that. Now we do have the central attack mid, Di Maria, for 740,000 coins. Managed to grab two goals in his games and one assist. He got 91 pace, 81 shot, 89 dribbling and 86 passing. This isn't the first time I've used his card, but it was still a very, very good second time of using it. It actually feels like he gets a lot more assists than what he does. He gets so many, like plays through balls, plays strikers on. He's always in the correct position to, you know, assist other players. It's actually good. He's actually kind of difficult to get to go and attack quite a lot of the time. Now, the first of two strikers, Aguero. We've gone and re-bought him after the review the other day. 1.2 million coins for him. Grabbed me four goals and one assist in total. So he's still very, very good. I do enjoy him. 89 pace on him, 90 shot, 90 dribbling. Those are some crazy stats. And his first goal was very, very nice on the edge of the box. And he smashes that one just past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. You know, from watching the review the other day, guys, you those of you that did will know how good he is. And I just, I enjoy playing with him. His dribbling's really good. Finish, finishing's incredible. Every shot just feels like it's going to go smash it and it's going to hit the back of the net. Especially the power shots, which, you know, are in the opposite corner to where the keeper is. Diego Costa now is in form. I think this is the first time I have actually used him. And surprisingly, he was a little bit disappointing. He doesn't really... He's never really in the right place at the right time. For 375,000 coins, um, I'd expect a little bit more. These, he managed to grab me three goals in total, and uh, they weren't exactly amazing goals. There you see, he has a rebound header. This one is just on the edge of the box, gets lucky, and quickly pings his shot. And then the final goal is going to be a penalty for him, which is just going to smash it home. But other than that, guys, he wasn't absolutely amazing, to be honest with you. I was expecting a little bit more. He was a little bit lacking in, you know, shot and pace. But other than that, this squad I actually didn't lose a game with, I believe. And it was actually fairly decent. I'm fairly confident now that full informed squads are not handicapped. And I'm actually enjoying using them, to be fair, for the first time in quite a while, guys. But I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do remember to drop a like. That 400 likes would be absolutely amazing for FIFA Monopoly tomorrow morning. And subscribe to me if you aren't already, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. It's 1.6 million for an 87 rated informed striker. Although those stats look incredibly good with him. Uh, we'll see now what squad I was using him in. It was kind of like a basics BB.